So listen, first and foremost, then adults form a circle around them. And, and as I begin to pray and speak life over them, then we can all just lift our hands around them. Hey, to all you children real quick, I just want to say that we love you. God loves you. And I know some of you might be too young to understand this, but some of you are not. I don't know if both of your parents are in your life. Maybe your dad's not there. Maybe he's never been there. Maybe your mom's not. I don't know, but we got a good God in heaven who loves us. I didn't understand that when I was young. I never had nobody just pray over me or speak life over me. Like my brother said, all, all we witnessed was the, the bad, the streets in the neighborhood, all the bad things the kids were doing. <laughs> I don't want you to fall. So listen, we love you. And I just want you to think about this for a minute. My niece is gonna sing a song. My niece, she used to sing when she was little. Do you know what happened? One time, she had a show in Holland, Michigan. So we all went to this show where she sang when she was little and their house got shot up like 30 something times when we were at that show and saved all of their lives. I tell you that for a reason. She's still here now she's a worship leader but God was protecting us the whole time. Now, maybe some of you some of you saw some violence in your life or some of you saw some things with your parents or your family or your cousins. I'm just here to tell you, God loves you and we're about to mark you for the kingdom. We're about to pray protection over you. We're about to pray God's love over you. And if any of you, just listen real quick, if any of you have not received Jesus Christ into your heart, she did at a young age. It's not too late. You're not too young. You're not... You can do it today before you leave this park. Talk to Justin, talk to me, talk to one of them and say, hey, I need Jesus in my heart. I need that mark. I need to know what's, what's in my heart. What, what talent do I got? Because each one of you, Jesus put something in, all right? Understand that and believe that, that you are worthy, that you are valued, that you are loved. Maybe, you're, maybe nobody never told you that. If you're like me, I just wanted that for my dad, and I never got it but I didn't know about that dad. I didn't know about that God. He always loved me. And so adults, let's reach out our hands over all these children. Kids, just receive it. Just if you have to close your eyes, just receive the love of God, especially as my niece begins to sing after this prayer. It's a more of a decoration. So Father, we thank you right now, God, we thank you for every child in this park, no matter how young or no matter how old. God, right now, we mark them for the kingdom. We say these are the sons and daughters of the kingdom, the sons and daughters of the future. God, we ask you to mark them right now with the blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we ask you to fall on each one of these children, even as we begin to worship. Stir their hearts up. Let them know that they're loved. Let them know that they're not abandoned. Even if they don't have no dad, no mom, or even if they're both there, but they abuse them or they treat them wrong, let them know that they are loved today. We declare the presence of God over these children. Holy Spirit, we pray that your oil, your love, and the fire of God just be poured out right now. Right now. Yes. You know, the scripture says he sings over us with rejoicing. He sings over us. And as my niece begins to worship, I want you children just to lift your hands. You don't have to. You can just bow your heads, close your eyes, and think about God. And think about how he got a great plan for your life. Father, I declare that these children will live and not die. and declare the glory of the Lord. They will fulfill the calling that you have called them to. They will come into their calling as sons and daughters of God. And they will be history makers and world changers in this community, in their neighborhood, in their family. Maybe some of them will be the one in their family that will break every generational curse in the name of Jesus Christ. So I declare right now, God, that these are a bunch of generational curse breakers in their family. I pray that as they leave this park, when they go back into their homes, their schools, their communities, that they will be just marked with the presence of God forever. And even as they walk in the place, that the presence goes with them. So listen, listen, listen. God.
God loves you. Trust me, when she sings, it's like God singing over you. God is going to be singing over you. You're going to feel God touch your heart. So just receive it, all right? Hallelujah. We just thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I was lost, but Bless he Jesus. brought me in oh, his love for me. Oh, his love for me. Yeah, keep your arms out for us. Who the sun sets free, oh, is free. Know this, you are a child of God and he loves you. When it gets scary in your life, when you feel like you're alone, when you're scared in your room or just at school and you just feel a lonely feeling, each and every one of you, all you have to do is call on the name of Jesus. He loves you so much and he's there. So listen, real quick, let's pray this together, all right? I don't know how many believe in Jesus. Let's do this before we break up. Repeat after me, okay? You're never too young. No, no. That wasn't it yet. Ready? Say, Jesus. Thank you for dying for me. I receive your death. So that I can have life. Come into my heart. And change me. Forever. I believe. You died. For me. And I receive it. Today. Holy Spirit. Come into my heart. And fill me. 
with your presence and your love. Today, I declare that I am a child of God. Hallelujah. Praise God.